here I have come with another uh, question of finding derivative of one function with respect to another function and uh, we have already solved uh, two problems I think two or three problems we have already uh, learned how to differentiate one function with respect to another function uh, so here what I mean to say uh, finally we had you know in, in both previous videos we had learned some tricks and uh, I want to say here, you know, we have two methods to find out the derivative of this one function with respect to another function. As uh, already I shared, one is shortcut, right? That you should have to use for checking whether you're doing properly or not. And one is exam method, you know, in exam or in test or if your teacher is asking, then how you have to show him, all right? One is quickest method. First, let me give you the quickest method, you know. Uh, you try to grasp with that and uh, will be but in exam you know on exam in the papers you need to do properly uh, in the proper format so you know like if you have the function this you know let me suppose this is your uh, any function f like f of x function is uh, 2x6 minus 3x4 plus x square and this imagine like gx is your another function x cube right and now you have to find out the derivative of this whole thing 2x6 or you can say derivative of the function fx, right? Directly I'm writing. Derivative of fx you need to find out with respect to gx. Right? So simple, nothing you have to do. Just write here derivative of x and divided by the derivative of second function. Simple. So if you have to, like quickly you have to find out the derivative, then your, uh, like quickly to find out it starts from here simple derivative of this will be what let's let's write one by one so derivative of this 2x6 will be so it will be 12x5 and then derivative of minus 3x4 it will be minus 12x cube and derivative of this x square will be 2x you have written this and now see derivative of x cube. what you will do derivative of x cube simple it is 3x square now separate one by one you'll get what 12x to the power 5 3x square minus 12x cube over 3x square and plus 2x over 3x square. So your answer is going to be 3 times 4x cube minus uh, 4x plus 2 by 3x. This is your answer. This is the shortest method, you know, the quickest method. Just write derivative of this, right, and write the derivative of this. Two places, I mean, whatever the derivative of this will be, just divide by this. You'll get the answer. That's it. But uh, this is the quickest method right if you don't have the time and quickly you have to do then do in this way but uh, another one I want to tell you uh, fully process wise if you have to do then like as we did you know initially as we do let imagine like a function y or you can suppose f of x also whatever you want uh, y equals to now it is 2x6 minus 3x to the power 4 plus x square and imagine uh, another function like z equals to x to the power 3 so what you'll do one by one uh, now we need to differentiate uh, this function y with respect to x you know uh, what I want to tell you actually we need to find out derivative of y means derivative of this whole quantity with respect to this quantity uh, this is not gel it's gel right so derivative of this y means derivative of this whole quantity with respect to x cube so first we'll be finding out derivative of y with respect to x and then dx over dz though it's the same thing you know but uh, you need to write formally I mean so this is a kind of a formal representation right we'll be doing this trick so here uh, what will be it will be like simple 12 x to the power 5 minus 12 x 3 and 2 x and here what you're going to get dz over uh, dx will be now 3 x square 3x square right and now same formula I'm going to use here so what I'll get it my d 2x6 minus 3x4 plus x square with respect to dx cube is actually dy over dz which is dy over dx times dx over dz so uh, we know dz uh, over dx right here, but here we are, we need dx over dz. So from here just do reciprocal, right? Or you can do the same. Uh, I mean you can write the reciprocal later also. So it is not better to write in this place. Generally, uh, sometimes teacher may may 
uh, tell you something so it is better to write here all right so now dy over dx you know already right mm, dy over dx recently you find out yeah here so it is 12 x to the power 5 minus 12 x cube plus 2 x times 1 over now I'm just writing the reciprocal of this that is 3 x square and then when this 3 x is going to divide each of this you'll get 4 x cube minus 4 x plus 2 by 3 x answer that's it uh, kind of this is a formal way or sometimes this method may be a little bit longer you know and if you if you know like quickly how uh, quickly you have to find out derivative then you can use this all right uh, because till now I hope uh, you're very fast to calculate the derivative of this kinds of simple algebraic expressions now uh, I'll be doing one or two more problem of this kinds of uh, finding derivative uh, with respect to another and then now we're going to jump uh, completely for the trigonometric functions till now we have learned the algebraic functions how to find the derivative of algebraic functions now after that we are going to learn uh, trigonometric functions you know one by one if you go and have a good practice then derivative will be a perfect never you'll forget in your life and you'll love the derivative you know many people have seen like they, they really hate this chapter but you know it's very easy and really I, I love this chapter and I love to do the problems of this finding derivative and later we'll be talking about the anti-derivative application of derivative we'll be talking one by one all those stuffs right so you should have the very good background you know background of practice I mean to say as much more practice you do that much better you will be there is only one you know uh, uh, a formula or you can say the shortcut of getting uh, success here do practice as much as you can you'll get the mistake you'll make the mistake sometime you may make some small errors so from those errors you have to learn you know make mistake as much as you can but never repeat the mistakes all right in derivative not only in derivative in other places also it will definitely help you you're free to make mistakes but never repeat mistakes so we'll be meeting in the next video all right goodbye